So here we are back in the land of Newport, which are on the second leg of our journey to Brussels. So we're going to be heading into London in the next 20 minutes and then I'll be heading to the Eurostar. <clears throat> so if you listen to the intro, you know that the boys have already gone ahead of me on this trip. So they're about three hours ahead. So the time I get to, so I'm going to Antwerp. So I've got a bus to get on when I get to Brussels. So they're about three hours ahead of me and the time I get there is going to be about midnight. So there'll be no point going to surprise them tonight because it'll be pitch black. So I'll be messaging Scott in the morning. I'll be finding out where the lads are. Um, I head into Brussels from Antwerp then and I've got three nights in Brussels and I've got a nice hotel too which I managed to book um, last minute as well on agoda.com which has been quite good if you want to use agoda for good deals though, I'll put an affiliate link down in the description if you guys want to use it if you do help it it'll help my channel at loads so this fella by here is doing laps this is like his fourth lap so yeah, if you want to use a go to make sure you use the link in the video description below. Anyway, so I'm going to be three hours late, so there's no point seeing them tonight. I'll be in a different city. I'll be leaving that city tomorrow, and I'll be staying in the same city as uh, Mike, Scott, and Ben from Tuesday onwards. It's currently Monday. So yeah, this plan, this actual trip was due to not happen because I had some complications with my parents' health. But luckily, that's been sorted out, so... Um, did prioritize my parents health for this trip but my mum in question is uh, doing quite well so yeah the bus is due in 20 minutes now I'm looking forward to it it's gonna take three out three and a half hours to get to London I'm hoping to snooze half of this to snooze half the time to uh, get to London but yeah the next clip now will be me going on the bus and I've got two hours to burn in London before the connection so um yeah, I'll see you when we're there. There he goes on his fifth lap. So this is the new, the new Newport Bridge, which, which was opened probably about eight months ago. You could used to get direct access through the station, but in recent years, uh, train stations in the UK, they've beefed up their security. So this is a another way around but a few years ago there was another bridge that allowed you to get access probably in the early 90s i remember going over it i actually remember going into newport train station to watch the trains with my dad but you can't even do that as a pastime now i think you need to apply for access um if you're like a train spotter or something like that if you want to get access to the tracks yeah like i said anyway we're gonna we're going to jump on the bus soon, so the next clip will be me on the Flix bus. <laughs> so this one's going to Swansea, it's not ours. Unless he changes his number quite soon, but uh, yeah. So it looks like this is mine just coming in now for London, Lixie bus. I think the Swansea guy is about to move. <clears throat> hey, what's happening? You alright? Oh, yeah. All good? Thank you. Thank you.
I just don't fancy having crumbs all over. I did spill my coffee on you. So my bus is due quite soon, which is literally right over there. So our bus is here in about four or five minutes, so I'm just having a beer and then we're gonna head on over and continue our journey. So you've probably seen this journey a few times on the channel. We get the ferry to Carlisle and then to mainland Europe. So we're gonna look down here because it wasn't in the cage. <clears throat> so ours is on this board here for K20. So there's two buses coming in at the same time, one for Paris and one to Antwerp. No, please D. 
5 C is here. Yeah. Yeah. So, so no, her ticket also says 5 C. Yeah, you can Yeah, show you, show you ticket. Let's go this page. 12 B. Please look. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this <is> after. <laughs> this is not next bus. US so fear bus. <laughs> so, are we looking through a sign seat or you sit wherever? No, look. It's a first for me being asked to go in here for 45 minutes. Well, the ferry turns up. It's a little pet playing area right there. So we've got 45 minutes till the bus goes, so I'm going to go back in about 20 minutes and just chill out. Best be back early than uh, missing it. It's a cool little service station, like, you can wait it. As I go back, I can put my head back in the chair. So yeah, we're currently half, well, we're about halfway now. I would say as soon as we get off in France, we're talking about two and a half hours, which is fine. So I'll sleep the entire night through. And then I might as well just go straight to the guy's hotel. I know the address of the hotel, everything. So I might just go there, dress up as a hobo with a piece of cardboard with Spud Boy's TV on it, sit somewhere outside and see if, uh, See if they come over, and I wonder why there's a, a homeless guy with Spud Boy's TV on a piece of cardboard. Maybe I'll just jump out in an alleyway. We'll see. We'll work it out. If I'm too tired, I'll probably just approach Mike <laughs> and pinch his bum. But we'll see what happens. I am really tired though, so I can't see myself sleeping at some point on the way. I do need to sleep on the way because I can't check into my hotel till three o'clock anyway. So we'll see what happens. So we're on the ferry at last. I don't know if anyone can see me in this video, but we're on the ferry. I'm on the poop deck. So I'm gonna chill here for a bit. That bus is really hot. So I'm gonna chill here and get some refreshments shortly. And then once we're back on the bus, I am going to sleep my ass off. my flex bus and I'm away I thank fuck for that I got a quick neck so it's currently four o'clock in the morning we're like no it's coming up to five o'clock in the morning we're like earlier than what I expected anyway let's go and explore see what it's like Room in there. So this is the town, the city centre right by here of Antwerp. I saw it on the way in. So I'm walking back on myself just to see this. And just to the left around the corner down here, I saw something big and lit up. It's five guys. So just around the corner here, I just saw something big and lit up. So I figured, just walk back down, check it out. And it looks like a wicked 
Cathedral. Look at that. Looks far away in the camera, but I'll cut them when we get closer. Maybe it's part of the university building or something. It's huge. And then we've got a big, big wheel down here as well. So it looks like I'm going to say goodbye to Antwerp for now. It looks lovely here. It is well early. There's no shady people. And this is the entrance to the central station. So I'm going to go in there and see what time the next train is to Brussels. Antwerp central to Brussels. Central. Just going to check it out. I think it's open till six. There was a sign for six. It's like two hour, an hour away. <laughs> so here we are. Right, this work out the trains. So this is that dome we was at there. Wicked. We'll definitely come back here. It's like jumping on the train to Cardiff, so it's not far. Mm. So the trains are up on these platforms here, one on the right, one on the left. I think this is one of the prettiest train stations I've ever been in to be fair because it's so old and it's got this really cool multi-layer sort of design going on there's more tracks here and here and there's more down the bottom too anyway I think the ticket machines are here there's literally no one in here apart from me and that girl who's playing piano she walked in just before me um, but yeah let's pop down here and see what's happening so I'm assuming these are the ticket machines here. So for a single to get to Brussels Central set in class, we're talking 890, which is absolutely a 
bargain, so we're going to go with that. Um, so. And that's also a non-designated train as well, so... Yeah, so we didn't designate a specific train, so we're just going to hop on the next train to Brussels. Oh. I'll take it here. Got my receipts. I don't know how many. I don't know how many receipts I need, but I see. Yeah, it's just confusing. That's it. Yeah, I think I need to speak to someone. <laughs> I worked the ticket out. Maybe it's this one up here. Maybe it's the first train of the day. Let's find out. So I've developed a bit of a migraine coming back, uh, coming on the way, which is my own fault because I just didn't have enough uh, water in me. Is my own fault I to look after my health a bit more. Anyways, crack on. Mm. So we're looking for IC, which is the name of the platform. I just spoke to a really nice German fella then who says it's two floors down, so not this one, but the next one. So it looks like one of these is our train. Which is going to leave in about 30 minutes. This train station is wicked though, it's like so, it's like so rustic and uh, rustic and modernised somewhat. Very functional train station. So I just double packed with a local because it's way too early and I don't want to be fucking up these trains. So this is ours by here, 23 of the looks of it. Still find out. This is one long ass train. The thing is, even though I'm dead certain this is the correct train, because I've got confirmation of two separate people, this board here, which is in uh, um, I forgot what language I'm speaking now, so that doesn't mean Instapan. So that's so confusing for me. I'll have to double check with someone again, but this is definitely uh, the train I've been recommended to get twice. Let's double check. So my train's just come on the board now, so it's not this one. It's the w this is somewhere else. This is 5.46. My one is after this one. It's a wicked artwork though. So yeah, good job I just clarified that, otherwise I would have been going to, um, I would have been going to uh, Amsterdam if I could go on here, well, that's it. It's a very long train though, very long. So the next train in five minutes is mine. So here's the 
there's our train coming in now. So my ticket's not valid for first class, so I hope I'm not in first class. Here we are, Brussels Central. And a big fat ugly Scottish brew dog right outside. Very good. I saw him foot from by here. I have to admit though, walking the streets of Brussels and Antwerp at uh, from four o'clock in the morning is quite interesting. I think people are starting to go to work. It's dead quiet though, which is nice. Well, looks to see seem to be a pope. It's pretty cool by you, right? So um, I'm gonna go straight to these guys' hotel. I might actually just stand outside and wait for them to come out. I don't know. I'm that tired. I'm not in the mood for pranks. Now I'm way too tired. Uh. So we need to go this way where the red lights are. But yeah, that is wicked. Yeah, I've got a headache because um didn't feed myself enough. I like this part of Tyrant's Grove. So we need to take the next right and then a left. Some of these hotels are dead posh around here, lovely. So it's up here and then a left. If they are doing an early start, I might catch them on the way out. It's already dark though. So this is the alley they're staying on. It's fucking rats by here. I just saw a rat jump down a hole. Anyway, I can let him stew for a bit. <laughs> I definitely need a coffee. I'm gonna go for a coffee. I'll wait for him to wake up. So I assume this is the main square where everything goes on. It's way early. Casino there. 
loads of homeless people living out here as well, to be honest. I have to admit, they clean up around here much better than what they do back in the UK. Very proud street. There's a bit of the old town down there. As you can see, it's starting to get a lot lighter now. I'm going to head towards my hotel and see if they can get me in a bit earlier because I am absolutely dead to the world right now. Belgium will be your experience. <clears throat> Should probably move out of the middle of the square. There's so many. Um, Oh, there's an Irish bar over there as well. There's so many um, people cleaning <laughs> the streets right now. Yeah, I'm looking forward to walking around here later. Obviously, I need to get my energy levels up, but yeah, this is wicked. <clears throat> tram stop down the ground right there so that's the high street I just walked down so we just come to the end of it there's loads of mist around here anyway my hotel is down around the corner by here So this is the little square my hotel's on, it's just down here on the right. I'm probably going to have to chill out in the hotel lobby for a while until they sort my room though, because I'm going to ask them if they can let me up early. It's called period build in the middle. So this is my hotel here, yeah, Aviation Hotel, so let's see what's going on. So that guy was such a legend. I'm not meant to check in until three o'clock. It's, it's not even eight o'clock in the morning yet. <laughs> I think it's not even eight. What a nice guy. What a legend. Two singles, but you got me in. I don't expect the view to be amazing. Nah. This room's nice. Got my TV. For a desk. Anyway, um, I'm probably going to call this video done. Um, I was teasing you guys about meeting Mike, but um, obviously I need to <laughs> look after my health because my head's really hurting. I've been traveling a lot, as you can see um, in this video. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time uh, with with the other with the with the lot of the other lot. So yeah, thanks for watching. Peace out.